Welcome back to 11 Alive News at 4. The Georgia legislature is in the final hours for the year where it might handle bills restricting LGBTQ freedoms, election bills, and others. They are measures that have put Democrats on the defensive. 11 Alive's Doug Richards joining us live at the state capitol right now. Doug, I'm sure a lot of movement happening there in these final hours of Sine Die. <laughs> There is a considerable crowd here on the third floor of the state capitol observing from the outside of the chamber the uh, goings on of the two chambers, the House and the Senate. Uh, it is worth noting that while in the metro area, Democrats control the county and city governments of uh, much of the population, here at the Capitol, Republicans are still firmly in control, and uh, there was ample evidence of that on this last day of the legislative session. The hallways are full of folks trying to convince Republicans to vote against measures that would outlaw hormone treatment for transgender teenagers. Democrats have tried to advance bills restricting guns and expanding Medicaid. Those bills have mostly gone nowhere. In both the House and Senate, the Democratic leaders are leaving the Senate are leaving the legislature rather than running for re-election. I asked House Democratic leader James Beverly uh, what it's like being a Democrat here. You're constantly in a space of just like a pinged emotional state. You're always in a heightened emotional state because you're always aware of what could what bad could happen with some of these bills, and you never get to control the agenda. And so when Democrats finally take over, uh, I'll be on the sideline cheering like you can believe. And after he said that, I told uh, Representative Beverly that he sounded like he was kind of a victim of PTSD, maybe. And he said, yeah, actually, that's what it's like being a Democrat in uh, uh, the Capitol. Uh, all of that, all of those symptoms uh, will hopefully at least start to ebb around midnight tonight when the legislature finally gavels out. Doug, one question for you, and it's on redistricting. Did redistricting lower the Democrats' chances of winning new seats in the state legislature? Well, they, it certainly lowered them compared to what they might have been before redistricting. But actually, Democrats are still optimistic that they will be able to gain a little bit, just not nearly as much as they would have uh, had the Republicans not been in control of redistricting. So baby steps.